drop the puck tonight. The Hurricanes kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. Fires it on net. That's blocked. Big time stop by Kachetkov. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. They are really tired in here tonight. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Centering feed. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. That's three in a row. Just fantastic work by the goaltender making consecutive saves. How athletic. And that goes off a body. Passes it over to Pesci. Picked up along the wall by Terabinen. The Hurricanes are across the line and into the offensive end. And now it's grabbed by Slavin. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the clock. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still no score in this one. Drury's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. The Hurricanes get a hold of it. Shays into the offensive zone now on the attack. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck. Great reach with the stick by Natchez. Here he is, shot by Sight. He scores! And a little pop up for the play. They can't blame the goalie on this one who's tracking the puck and then all of a sudden it changes direction because it deflects off of a defender in front. Real tough puck luck. The Hurricanes are first to light the lamp tonight. Let's see where it goes from here. There's been some back and forth action and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. The Hurricanes gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. And called for the offside, we'll get a face off. Ajo's third eye zone ability means he can distribute the puck so well. Ajo's a great teammate because of his third eye zone ability and it means he can set someone up with the perfect dish. I'm excited to see these players compete and give their team the edge. Now back to you. Big save in front. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want it? He's all alone with the goaltender. Oh, him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. The Hurricanes gain possession. Puck scooped up by Burns. And that's knocked away. Scooped up along the wall by Terrafina. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. Textbook poke check by Burns. Puck grabbed by Pesci. Tries to feed it over to Stahl. Denies him, he got all of it. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. And the extended stick ends that one. Nice save from point blank range. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. And he turns that one aside. Taken by Burns. Across the line and on the attack. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Here in the late going to the frame, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Deflected in front. 
The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Takes it across the blue line. Shot! Oh, a true warrior to block that. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. at just $10. Hurry into our main store as supplies are limited. Teams to refuel, they are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Hurricanes didn't get off to a great start at all. I mean, they've been chasing the game, and the real reason why they're behind in this one, they haven't had any possession time. Up along the wing. Gaining steam here on the attack. Picked off by Burns. Svechnikov's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Made the save on the play. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Change up, change up. Burns has it in the defensive end. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The Hurricanes have put a lot of pucks on net and they continue to lead here early in the second. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Puck picked up by Slavin. From the neutral zone now. Deuces wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love his game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the floor check. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. The style of goaltending has changed so much over the years, James, and you can see that he drops right to his knees here in the butterfly position, trying to make himself as big as possible. But unfortunately, the shooter is able to put it by. The Hurricanes have extended the lead to two goals here in the second, and at this rate, Cheryl, I don't think they're stopping. Well, no, because, I mean, they've been good in all three zones, haven't they? I mean, you're watching their goaltender just put on a clinic, and then their offense gets to work. They're dominating in terms of shots, and they're finding a way to put it in the back of the net. Hard to get the puck off their stick. And they score! Well, with the delayed penalty, they get their opponent running around, James, and they wind up scoring, so that's going to nullify their power play, but it doesn't really matter. They got one on that one. Very effective. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Hurricanes have got one back, and does this change momentum now, Cheryl? It better. They started the second period absolutely flat, James. They're getting outshot. They need to find a way to hound pucks and get some possession. Moves it to the middle, and he denies that. Great opportunity there. And now it's grabbed by Kotkaniemi. And that one flies over the net. Kotkaniemi stick handling in his own zone. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Grabs control of it at the point. Sensational stop by Kuchetkov. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly. Two on one. Here we go. Makes the save. Who thought it might stay out? There's another stop. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. Scores! Time out, Terrible! Oh, 
As a defender, there's certain areas of the ice that you just cannot give up, James. You cannot give the middle of the ice, and that's exactly what happens here. And as a result, the school is scored. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Jarvis gets hacked. The official's arms in the air. Let's get the call here. Well, he's going to get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. to set up. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Close save! Here's a short pass to Punting. Handles the pass at center. Lead pass ahead. How did he stop that one? Well, he's flashing the leather on this save. The shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Here's a pass in front! Well, this is a tough pill to swallow if you're the power play unit, but if you're on the PK, you recognize and anticipate it extremely well. This is why we call it the power kill. Reading the opportunity and then burying it for a shorty. Puck scooped up by Shea. Moves it on over to Stahl. Shot! Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Kachetkov! Power play expires and they gotta be left shaking. He's got a step! Oh, he can't pull the trigger on the play. Uh, because he skated himself into no man's land, ran out of... Scores! And look who's at it again. Well, uh, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're gonna be closed upon quickly, so you gotta have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're gonna score. The Hurricanes extend the lead to two here as they get closer and closer to intermission, Cheryl. Great timing to go up by two. You've dictated the play. You're coming into the end of the second period, and you find a way to get another. Now, right off of this face-off, they really want to set the tone and keep their opponent on their heels. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Slavin's going off to the box for two minutes. The Hurricanes will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Stars! And that's three! It's a hat trick here on the road! Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. So focused on the puck carrier below the goal line that they don't notice that the most dangerous player on the ice, he is net front. He is creeping around in those quiet areas to make himself available for that one-time shot. When he gets it, he makes no mistake. The Hurricanes are showing no signs of slowing down, and here we are in the late stages of period number two. They continue to hit down the accelerator. Yeah, and the coach must be loving this. I mean, sometimes you can't put your finger on exactly why it's working the way it is, but the chemistry is off the charts here, and they've got a comfortable lead. Makes the move in front! Right in the low slot. Puck grab by Svechnikov. The Hurricanes take over on possession. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Rips it from the blue line, and he makes the save on that play. Stahl's the leader of this team, and who do you look to when you're down? You find a way to look to your leaders. They create momentum. Everyone jumps off. 
on board. This game is not out of reach yet. Big save right at the end. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs because a big third period is just around the corner. for period number three is ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face-off looming. The Hurricanes need to start finishing their chances as they trail here in this third period. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. The well, coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical face-off. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels after an icing, you have to find a way to have urgency in attack. Dismiss that chance. Musa quickly over to Svechnikov. All alone! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. Taken by Burns. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Slavin. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Natchez is playing with a ton of confidence tonight, and I guess because he's got a multi-point night, James. Just wide. Quick pass to Burns. Brings the goal up the post. The Hurricanes can't believe their misfortune as they send one off the post. When you're trailing in the game, you got to find a way to put those ones in and convert your bad luck into some good. Break away! Oh, absolutely crush at the stop! Oh, you got to love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Slides it on over to Stahl. The Hurricanes coaching staff has to be liking this game. When you look down your bench and it's your third line that's firing, this shows the depth scoring and the contributions that can be made throughout the lineup. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Kuchenkov! The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Moves it to Martinik. Carries it in. Takes a shot. And that one's turned aside. The Hurricanes have it from the corner. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Martinix lugging the puck. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Slides the puck ahead to Stahl. Intercepted at center by Pesci. Here's a shot. Club save. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand. And man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Quick feed to Svechnikov. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Pesci. Handles the puck. Passes it to Pesci. Drives it to the crease. Oh, what a save in front. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Hurricanes are getting penalized for slashing. Team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? Aho's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Takes a shot, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Puck picked up by Jeremiah. Oh, he put it just wise and hits the outside of the post. Shot in front. Oh, that goes off the basket, and keeps it out. Has been a one.
one-sided affair. Burns works the puck in his own zone. Picking up ahead of steam on the breakaway. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I loved how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint. He said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Drury's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession from the top of the offensive zone here. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Hurricanes have been the more active team offensively tonight with plenty of scoring chances, but they continue to trail because they haven't finished late in this third period. And that's a great hits up play in the offensive zone. And a beautiful stop by the glove. The Hurricanes have it now. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. Here's the official call. Uh, James, we were hoping to beat the crowd home, but the refs call this penalty, and this game's pretty much over. I mean, it's inconsequential, isn't it? One. The Hurricanes had one of those games that showed everybody it's okay to win.